welcome to Nuremberg, Germany. Now we have been to Germany actually a couple times <laughs> to the airport. Yeah. We've never exited the airport. Uh, so this is our first time in Germany. This is our first time actually in Germany. And there's a few things we think of when it comes to Germany. Bratwurst, the sauerkraut, that's a given. Mm -hmm. Schnitzel, strudel, and there's a few items that uh, surprise us a little bit. Riesling, they're very well known for. Yeah. And there's another beverage that uh, I indulged in, I overindulged in about 25 years ago. Swore I'd never do it again. Carrie and I are gonna reintroduce ourselves to it in this video. Or maybe just Brian. What we're starting with today is we're starting with one of their, we'll call it a brat, and it is the traditional one. Now you get three links of the sausage on here, and the thing about the sausages is that it has to be a certain length, and it has to be cooked with a certain kind of wood. So uh, it looks fantastic. We have been craving these before we got here, so. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a little kid. My dad had sauerkraut in the refrigerator all the time. And it stunk up the refrigerator. I just couldn't stand it. But now that I'm an old man, I love sauerkraut. It's delicious. If those were any longer or any shorter, they wouldn't be as good. This is great. Now we are here in the main town square. Uh, once again, it's a pretty space. It's, I wouldn't say it's maybe as picturesque as uh, right. some of the other town squares that we've been right. in recently. Very, very true. Yeah. It does have a big church though. Mm -hmm. I see a trolley up over there in the distance. You know I love trolleys. <laughs> we could hop on that and get a tour if we like. We'll check out the price you know, on that here pretty soon. But right now I am thirsty. I need, yeah. I had those brat, that bratwurst and, uh, and uh, sauerkraut. I need to wash it down. Okay, so we were headed to get a beer, but Carrie found something. Now, we didn't know this was a part of Germany before we arrived, but the gingerbread. Carrie found the gingerbread cookies. I love gingerbread. And so we're gonna grab some gingerbread cookies. Then we're gonna wash it all down with some German beer, right? Yes, that is okay. next. That That's is next. The plan. Yeah, so there's kind of some history to the gingerbread. It was originally, I believe, it was by, made by monks and it was a really common uh, food that they ate. It was definitely made different back then. I think it was called honey bread. Uh, and now they obviously, <laughs> now is like a cookie. So, Who anyway, knew? we're going to go try yeah. it. Apparently, there are a lot of options to choose from. All right, so we got the variety pack. We couldn't decide which ones we wanted to get. So we went with the variety pack and then we're gonna decide which ones we like. And there's another spot we're gonna go to and we're probably gonna buy another one because we both love gingerbread. But I'm going with the glazed and they're soft and chewy. And we probably didn't get enough because Carrie is gonna get any. So I am going for the, I don't know, it's got kind of a white wafery looking thing on the bottom of it. it smells really good. Mm. It is good. Not sure I'm a fan of the wafery part on the bottom. I guess they both have that, so, but they are very good. So we saw the trolley and what it is is it's 10 euro for an adult 
for a 40 minute ride around the city. Seems a little high. That's um, a little steep for me. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. you know, I mean, honestly, the cobblestone here is pretty hard to walk on in some areas, that's, so that's I can true. probably see that. That's true, but you could always sit on a bench and drink a beer for less than that. If we don't get him a beer soon, you're just going to keep We've hearing about it. about it. Thank you. Now I got the bison, and this is kind of my go-to beer. And one of the reasons I'm happy to be back in this area of the world because it's so common. This is a really, really good one. To me, they were kind of remind me of Christmas. They just kind of have those flavors of Christmas. I got the road beer, also known as the red beer. Now this beer was first brewed right here in Nuremberg. That's why I got it. It's also very tasty. So good things come to those that wait. Cheers. So another area that is really cool here in Nuremberg that you want to see is this street that is supposed to be one of the prettiest streets here. Now this area was maintained or was one of the areas that made it through the war quite yeah, it well. It survived the war yes. and they've yeah. maintained it to its previous glory all these years so mm -hmm. it's something special it's something to be seen for sure yeah and so it is kind of the notable area mines are called the i think it's called half timber houses so uh you'll see that kind of in the construction of them and we're not going to try and pronounce the name of no. the street we'll put it below but we will make sure we put it below it's for sure <laughs> All right, now there's a few churches here in yes, the old town. St. <laughs> Lawrence is the one we went into. Now this is suggested to your uh, donation when you go in, $2.25 uh, USD. It's worth going into. It's beautiful. These churches are amazing. They're 800 years old plus. The architecture and the designs and everything inside is worth the two euro. Mm -hmm. Take advantage, go in, check it out. No moms with kids. Moms with kids, they can't come over here. <laughs> Stay out. It's not true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, once again, plenty of tours to go on. This one here looks really cool. There's also the double-decker bus. Plenty of options, take advantage of them.
Yeah, a long ways down. <laughs> There's a little boy freaking out. I think I might take him back down so <laughs> Carrie and his parents can go up and enjoy themselves. It's pretty high. <laughs> hey, careful. Be careful. <laughs> Worth it. That little kid ended up doing just fine, so now I have to go all I have to go all the way up. <laughs> couldn't I couldn't take him downstairs. Was it was it be worth it? It was, it was worth it, yeah. <laughs> it's kinda of scary. <laughs> Look over there. All right, we made our way up to the castle, worked off those beers, because it was a little bit of a hike up here. We paid seven euro to get up into each, yeah. each mm -hmm. to get up into the tower. There's a show that starts at three o'clock. I'm mm -hmm. not sure if we'll do the show or not. Yeah, and I think that also gets you into the castle. Yeah, it gets, yeah. You, it gets mm -hmm. you into the castle. The trip up the spiral staircase to look over the city, once you get up there, it's fantastic. Walking up was a little bit scary. Not really. But uh, I made it, I survived. <laughs> Him and, worth a, it. him and a five-year-old boy, so I think yeah. he was about three. <laughs> Now the castle. I, I would. You go ahead. <laughs> I would say that <laughs> you probably, honestly, don't need to buy tickets unless you want to go up in the tower, and you can buy a cheaper ticket to go up into the tower yes. if that's what you want to do. I, I feel like we missed something. Yeah, we we walked all over trying to yeah. figure out what we were missing, and there were really only a couple little places that you got to go into with your ticket, so we're not sure what what we missed. What we missed. With all that being said. The grounds are beautiful. It's yeah. worth coming up here and to do. And that's free. Yeah, and it's free. <laughs> yeah. So take the free tour. And if you want to go up in the castle and not be a scaredy cat, you can do that and you can get it for a less price. Yeah, I, I think believe. it was like four euro to just yeah. do that or three fifty. So. And in comparison, our beers were four seventy five each. Yeah. So it's not so. like it's, it's not like it's expensive. Right. It's just when we look at something and you can just walk up and enjoy the grounds and it's free, then why not just do that sometimes? Why not? As good as the brat and sauerkraut were, as good as that gingerbread was, and the beer, as tasty as the beer was, <laughs> we're ready for some real food. We yeah. need to bite into something. Something traditional. Something traditional, yeah. yeah. I'm getting the schnitzel. We found a place, we hope they're open. We've kind of been out of luck running in some places that aren't open. So, uh, if this place isn't open, we can get another beer. That's Think a about definite it. possibility. Figure it out.
Now that was a fantastic dinner. We were looking for a traditional place to go and have a really great dinner yes. and we found it. Yes. Um, it was so cute inside. The service was great. We highly recommend it. Now we would have loved to film inside there for you, but they had some really uh, great music playing. Yeah, it was but good music. YouTube would not have liked that. We had a little yeah, do we, run, run, run going. Sean, little Sean, Sean Cassidy going on the background. That's going back from my time there. So I ended up getting a Cordon Bleu schnitzel. Yes. So good. Yes, it looked great. I got the regular schnitzel and it was even better than her Cordon Bleu schnitzel. The place is fantastic. Make sure you get there when they open about 4.30 because they reserve out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, they were, so they were sure getting that, filled up. They were gonna fill it up. There's two more things we gotta do. Possibly two more. Possibly. We're, we're in Germany, so we have <laughs> to do it. Yet. Carrie wants to get a pretzel. And I promised you something in the beginning of this video that I haven't done for 25 years. Mm -hmm that I'm gonna to do tonight for this video. All right, only for you guys. Only for you. I gotta work up the courage though to do it. <laughs> I'm not even hungry. <laughs> okay, so I'm not even really hungry, but but I needed to get a pretzel because Carrie's getting a pretzel. I'm gonna have a bite and then I'm gonna save mine for later. I just got the regular salted pretzel. Um, it's gonna require a beer, I can tell you that already. But um, yeah, it tastes like a pretzel. So I went with the buttered pretzel. I actually kind of thought it was gonna be like the buttered ones we have at home where they like dip it in melted butter, but it's actually just buttered. So, uh, which probably is equally as good. We'll give it a try. Mm. It's actually really good because a pretzel has a tendency to be dry, but the butter makes it so much better. So, those are good. Okay, now the last time I had Jägermeister was about 25 years ago and I overindulged. And let's just say the evening did not end well. But here we are, 25 years later. I'm in Germany, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my, my Jägermeister again. Now, I'm not 25 anymore, so I'm not gonna shoot it. I'm gonna drink it like an adult. So, cheers. I can't taste about the same as I remember. Just bring back great memories. Yeah, great memories. <laughs> Okay, now, I personally love licorice flavored, so I think this is fantastic. <laughs> I say that word way too much, I know. Mm, that is really good. I would not want to shoot it because I want to savor it. So great day today. Um, we also wanted to tell you about the hotel that we are staying at here in Nuremberg. Yeah, uh, it's a really great location with really key, uh, but the hotel itself is really nice. So uh, we will, as always, put the link down below. Uh, we've been really happy with it, so we would recommend it. Um, and after this, next stop. We're heading to Munich. Munich next. We're heading to Munich, and I don't think I'm gonna have any Jägermeister once I get there, but I'm I am gonna finish this one now, so that's... I might get more. So, all right, so make sure and hit the subscribe button so you can follow us along. All right, all right. Cheers. cheers.